Hi, this is David Williams. In a previous video, I talked about the general principle of using parity to check for errors in a system. And then in a, in a subsequent video, I talked about the details of generating parity bits for a transmitter. Now what I want to look at is how to check for errors with a parity checker. So let's assume that we have a three bit even parity system. So what this system is going to do is receive chunks, three bit chunks of data, actually it'll be four bit chunks of data, three, three of those bits will be data bits and the fourth bit will be a parity bit and it will count the number of ones and if there, if there are an even number of ones then it will assume that there are no errors. To design the system, let's build up a truth table with the four input bits, the three data bits and a parity bit and then generate an error bit for all of the cases, all the input cases where a parity error would occur. So my inputs are A, P, and C for data, and P for the parity bit, and then my output is the error bit. Now that I've got each one of my input combinations, I can figure out whether I will have an error or not. So for the error column here, it's a parity error. A parity error is represented with a 1, and uh, no parity error is represented with a 0. So for each column, all I'm doing is just counting the number of 1s. And if it's an even number, no error. If it's an odd number of 1s, there's an error. So no error, 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 no error, error. No error, no error, 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 no error, <laughs> no error, error, no error, 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 no error. Now, if I go through the process of making a Boolean algebra expression for E based on the inputs A, B, C, and P, I would find that the error bit is equal to A, X, or B, x or c x or p and in fact any parity checker is simply the xor of all of the inputs and this can be built by cascading two input xor gates together like so a and b into one xor gate c and p into another xor gate and then the output of those xor gates connected together to give you the error bit. And so this circuit will give you an error bit high if the number of ones in your input A, B, C, and P is odd, and it will give you error will be zero if the number of ones is even. Now this, this works for even parity. If you want to do odd parity, then you just need to add an inverter to the E to give you uh, the odd parity bit and it's as simple as that. So I hope you learned a little bit about parity checkers in this video, and I'll see you in the next one.